But uh, so uh, uh, Amy Winehouse covered the uh, Hey Little Rich Girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got uh, a new mm. guitar and an amp out of it. <laughs> God bless her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> it's a shame she died. Yeah, I, I, she's so I, much talent. I was gutted. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'd only met her twice, but like, I thought, why didn't somebody look after her? Yeah. They got me. You know, everyone in the music business has problems. Why didn't somebody just take her aside and just look after her? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's good yeah, that you say it because I didn't know if I could answer, uh, ask uh, some question, but um, what is of my interest. Uh, He, uh, she played your song and uh, also, but uh, were there any plans uh, to play a gig together or something? Or it, have you played uh, with her, jammed? She, she, she uh, guested with us a couple of times yeah. on gigs. I didn't know she was coming and that. But I, so I had a quick chat with her and, uh, you know, yeah. she said she was sober. You know, but more sober than I was at the time anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. The Scambly Rebels, you also have a, a large following, different than the specials? It's kind of, uh, I've been <laughs> for the past 30 years doing this mixture of sort of rockabilly and uh, ska and a touch of punk. And uh, it, it's kind of catching on. But look, it's just, it's like the specials, we always mix stuff up that you shouldn't mix up. You know, I don't, we don't see like, Uh, the lines between the musical styles. You, you, if it works, you throw it in. Words, like, you know. but uh, I don't know. Recently, my own my own band, like it's kind of working. As I say, like the kids growing up don't haven't got that sort of tribalism. Was like in the mm -hmm. 70s or the 80s, you know, you're a punk, you're a mod, or you whatever. But now they tend to sort of like. I don't see the, the lines. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not you don't belong to some tribe. So musically, they're they're most to Motown one day, rockabilly the next day, punk. It's it's, it's more combined. You know. The kids are alright, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 do you see the same fans that come to specials gigs go to Scarbilly Rebels? Occasionally, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's quite it's a bit of a mixture. Okay. The my own gigs, it's sort of like. Certain uh, rockabillies will turn up, certain Scar fans. They're probably the ones a bit more open-minded. They're not quite so, uh, uh, you know, they're not quite so, you know. Stuck in their... Uh, in their rut, yeah. <laughs> and um, um, to, the, to the lineup of the Scar Rebels, in 2008, uh, you told me um, that there were some changings, and uh, at first uh, you had some guys, they, um, pre they, they looked good but didn't play good, <laughs> and uh, you changed it, and then you had guys they play good but not look so good. Well, my best friend, uh, Ian uh, H. Howard, He drank himself to death, which is a bit of a shame. I had to sack him as he just, but it is, he, he wanted to do Johnny Funders, but with alcohol. And, uh, you know, it, it's sort of, uh, you're trying to find the right combination of musicians, which works, you know. I've got some nice young players now, They're probably more jazz heads, you know, mm -hmm. but they, they put up with my sort of, uh, Punky scar, rockabilly version of it, and they seem to enjoy it. So, like, you know, it's it's a, an ongoing thing. You know. mm. And uh, are there some releases or singles, CDs? Well, there's Blues Attack, which is only available through my website, Rodiation.com. I haven't got a, a major deal because uh, I've been offered a few. Independence, but like, it's usually sort of like I don't. If, if you're a musician, you probably know what it's about. It's basically you, you, you sign some of these deals, and all they give you is about four boxes of CDs to sell yourself, mm. and you've tied them for six years, and it's bullshit. Mm. <laughs> I've seen yesterday um, that you sold uh, from the concert some record, some records from the concert. So that's really a new uh, <coughs> because of the new technology that you can sell yeah, it so fast. I wasn't personally over keen on that. I thought if somebody's paid for a ticket, bought a T-shirt, and then has to buy the <laughs> the show that they've just seen, I, I I thought that was a bit. Then anyway, that's, that's my just my opinion. Mm, I don't. Yeah. I I don't. 
I guess it's if people are that, you know, you're anorexic, you know, like, <laughs> that, they want everything, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, but then again, like that, that's what's kept me going, I suppose. Like, there's people like they like the specials, and they want to find out what all the individuals are doing, and they will buy that, and which is you know. Like, but personally, I, I didn't like the idea of like I don't want to rob the fans. You know what I mean, I, I could do with the money, obviously. Like, and, uh, none of us are getting any younger. You know, it'd be nice to have a pension or not have to worry about hospital bills or whatever when it comes, but like, I don't like the idea of ripping the fans off, but right. you know, that's the way it goes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, last question, uh, how does your family support uh, the special uh, reunion? Because you know, I think uh, you don't have uh, that much time now. Uh, my eldest daughter's here at the moment with a boyfriend. It's funny because like, they, they, I don't know, it's like you do with all your parents, or whatever you parents do, you're like, oh, what's that crap? <laughs> <laughs> but like, once we, when we reformed to that, and they suddenly realised, oh, shit, my, my dad's famous. <laughs> okay, okay. So. <laughs> Can you buy me this, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Trevor, you've got... Uh, I do have a last question. A last question from Trevor, yeah. Um, do you recognise this? No. <laughs> really? This is the official two-tone membership card. I was right. uh, a member of the fan club. But right. I, I, I didn't really keep up on a lot of that stuff at the time. You know. I thought it might be interesting. I wondered if maybe you'd ever seen this, or mm -hmm. it's maybe a few years ago. This was the first newsletter from the right. fan club. I, I, did, I did. The thing is, like, uh, when that was kicking off, like, I didn't really... Because... Uh, Jerry Dammers, the band leader, tended to sort of uh, hold the reins, so to speak. So I didn't have a lot to do with Yeah, I've read he tried to do yeah. pretty much everything, yeah. Well, he, he basically sort of burned himself out. Didn't yeah. He? You reckon But he, 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 he should, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Has, has uh, uh, Jerry Dammers uh, seen a, a gig of you? He was at the first one we did, Best of All. Okay. It's sad he's not here, but like, Uh, Terry Hall got the, the reins uh, yeah. to the reunion and uh, I, I said before like some very very strong characters in this band and that's why it works and why it don't work sometimes you know. Okay. <laughs>